What I realized is nobody cares but me. Des later clarified that this does not mean he's retiring. So, Shannon, do you believe he doesn't want to play? No! Then stop! These two have no... <laughs> these two don't go together. Let me... Uh, for the people at home that don't understand how the NFL works, normally, when a team wants you, mm -hmm. they reach out to you and your representative. Skip, when I got okay. released by the Ravens in 2001, within a day, the Broncos, the Raiders, the Seahawks called my agent and said, we'd like to schedule a visit to have Shannon come in. Mm -hmm. Now, I told Marvin I wasn't going to Denver because I had just mm -hmm. spent 12... I just spent, Skip, I just spent 10 years there. Marvin so I, Lewis? Ma yeah. No, uh, Marvin Demoff. Oh, Marvin, I thought you were Marvin. Ma Marvin, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, I know Mike Shanahan. Yeah. I know the offensive coordinator. I know everything. Yeah. So I'm not going there. I'm not mm -hmm. playing them a visit. Okay. Tell them, okay. I, but I'll be very interested in returning, mm -hmm. uh, you know, considering how they want to use me. Mm -hmm. So I went, I went to the Raiders and went to Seattle. Skip, that's how it works. When they want you, they call you. They call your representative. Now, Dez is being disingenuous, Skip, because here's the thing. You remember when he got released by the Cowboys, I think it was April, maybe it May, he didn't get a call until November. He tears his AC as Achilles mm -hmm. in his first practice. He did. So it's been a year since then. Mm -hmm. And of the torn Achilles. Mm -hmm. And you think teams are going to be clamoring? They're going to be diving over walls like we got to have Dez Bryant? A guy that was really never known for his foot speed, he doesn't run the route tree well at all. And so what? Hmm. That situation with TMZ, you we understand what TMZ is. Mm -hmm. Like them, dislike them, whatever. They are what they are. They've broken a lot of stories, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he's making it seem like they made this story up. Mm -hmm. Did it happen? Yep. It did. The only thing that we didn't know at the time, because Skip, I remember talking about it with Zeke's okay, yada, yada, yada. Okay, what the gentleman is saying, from what I can gather, is that it was not a fender bender. Thirty-plus thousand dollars worth of damage is not a fender bender. I've been in accidents before. And fender benders is, fender benders is so I would consider something less than a thousand dollars, Skip. You start getting in the tens, the twenty, and the thirty thousand dollars. That's not a fender bender. That's a big collision. And TMZ do, doing what they do. They reported it and said, "Well, we have information that someone told us." And yep. the guy says, "The uh, is covering it up." That's one of the perks about playing in Dallas. Skip. They do a really good job of that. Now, this is not mutually exclusive to Dallas. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of teams that have a great relationship with departments. And when things, they're able to sweep things under the rug that it doesn't get all the way out. Dez, I ain't going to go into great detail, has been a very big, a big beneficiary of things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And he knows exactly what I'm talking about. So to say, oh, this is why I'm not, you know, in, in the league right now because of what TMZ, no, you're not in the league right now because nobody wants you. Mm. Because it was, it was took you six months to get on the team and you tear, you tear your Achilles and you're a year older. Mm. So good luck. But Dez, be truthful. Just like, hey, if you want to come in and say, man, I, I hate this for Zeke, that they put his business out there like that, say that. Mm -hmm. But don't try to conflate the two, tie the two together yeah. and says, the reason why I'm not in the NFL is because of things like this, because they have no bearing on each other. Mm. So I'm with everything you just said and then some, because I think Dez is trying to say that the reason he has fallen out of love with playing football is because he doesn't want to play in a city like Dallas, which, trust me, I know it. I lived there a long time. It can be sin city for Dallas Cowboys because everybody wants to be your friend. Mm -hmm. And everybody is quick to provide you with whatever you want Interesting. to self-destruct. Whatever right? your vice is, you know, they got it. Whatever, for you. it's it's free. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get this sure. for you. You need that. You need right. this. You need that. And he is saying that the spotlight in Dallas is unfairly, harshly bright. Okay. And yet, it's not too bright for those who mind their business, right? I mean, there, there are thousands of cowboys have gone through Dallas and we don't read a word about them mm -hmm. because they just kind of keep to themselves and they right. stay out of right. harm's way, right? And that's either in the public eye or in the private life, in your, your home life. Right. And Des didn't avoid the spotlight publicly or even privately. Correct. So I'm going to give you a quick cautionary tale. I will never forget the afternoon of July 15th, 2015. I had just been here in L.A. to do some ESPY shows on ESPN. 
and I was at the gate at LAX to fly back to New York City, mm -hmm. and the news broke. Jerry finally gave Dez his money <laughs> that he had earned in 2014 yep. when he led the NFL in Touch touchdowns. Yep. Remember, 2014 ended with Dez caught it because he did catch it, <laughs> but he didn't get the catch, right. and they didn't get the win at Aaron Rodgers and... Aaron went on to Seattle, where Dallas had won a regular season game. So Correct. anyway, the point is, that was a big time year. Yeah. yeah, for sure. He got his money that day. And so I am tweeting from the gate at the airport on my phone, hooray for Jerry, he got it done. Right. And he got it done to the tune of five years, $70 million. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like a lot of money, but it also seemed like Des was worth it. Do you realize, little did I know sitting at my gate at LAX, I had seen the best of Des Bryant. Wow. Yeah. That was it. Yep. I had seen the best of him. Yep. Des caught it. That, that was the height of Des. Wow. And from that moment on, it went straight downhill because, ironically, he quickly suffered what is called a Jones fracture, not Jerry Jones, but just a Jones fracture right. in his foot mm -hmm. that derailed him. And then that led to another injury, which led to another injury. He's a high contact receiver who tries to run through a lot of contact. Mm -hmm. And as you know, he became a broken down shell of himself. Right. And he had no rapport with the new quarterback in 2016, Dak mm -hmm. Prescott, drafted in the fourth right. round, who took over for yep. his soulmate, Tony Romo, who threw him a thousand jump balls and he caught about 500 of them. And, right? and, and that was the thing. And Skip, and I want to make sure I'm not trying to look. If Dez is suffering from anxiety or mental illness, yep. hopefully he can get okay, the treatment I that agree. he seeks. So I'm not, I, I don't want to say, well, Shannon, you don't show any compassion. But what, I'm, what I am doing is I don't believe that the reason why Dez Bryant is not currently playing in the NFL mm -hmm. is because of issues about TMZ breaking stories I that totally seem agree. to have disappeared. Dez would crawl back to be able to be in that spotlight again. Yeah. As much For anxiety sure. and depression as it might cause, he misses his football, and I feel sorry for him because his his career got derailed way prematurely. Yeah. He just turned 30. Skip, here's a guy that grew up in Lufkin, Texas, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Now, we now we we well, we thought Kawhi was a Laker fan. We thought Paul George, but his dream it was was to play for the Dallas mm -hmm. Cowboys yeah. as a wide receiver. Yeah. He got that. There are no Clippers in Dallas. No, exactly. <laughs> so, Skip. You mean to tell me Dez Bryant is perfectly okay mm -hmm. with his career? The last we remember of Dez Bryant mm -hmm. is him getting cut by the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. His final year in Dallas. You, you telling me Dez Bryant is okay with that on his resume? No way, no how. Skip. Mm -hmm. Carmelo Anthony has gold medals. Carmelo Anthony led the league in scoring. He's mm -hmm. been uh, finished second in the MVP. He wants to go out the way he wants yeah. to go out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Dez Bryant wants to go out with the last, what we remember of him, mm -hmm. being released in his last year in Dallas. Mm -hmm. Come on, Dez, man, nobody mm -hmm. buying that. Mm -hmm. So just ahead of Jerry giving him his big deal in 2015, Ian Rappaport of NFL.com reported that he had found six instances of police being called wow. to Dez Bryant's house. And he listed all kinds. There's a harassment incident. There was alleged robbery at his house. Fire department had to come and unlock his car with a sleeping baby inside. It was just one thing after another awesome. after another. And then I, if I could just hit a few of the low lights on the timeline here for Des Bryant. If I, uh -oh. if you lose a few lights. God, <laughs> God, is, God is saying, I, I don't even want you to keep going. Right? <laughs> but here are a few of the low hey, lights. We us. go back to Oklahoma State where he had one incident after another. He was finally suspended for his last 10 college games junior year because NCAA investigators found that he had lied about a legal lunch he had had with Deion Sanders. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Deion, May 2011, Deion publicly cuts ties with Des, saying, quote, everybody is worried. I think the Dallas Cowboys are more, more concerned than I am. I had to cut my umbilical cord with him because a lot of things people do not even know about. I, Does I, that remind you a little bit of a current running back for the Skip, Dallas Cowboys? Like I said... Hmm, interesting. When you work in our business, Skip, mm -hmm. we get we hear things that the even fans in Dallas don't know, mm -hmm. or the fans outside of Dallas have no idea about. I'm not here to put anybody in business, mm. but Dez better be glad he played for the Cowboys. Because mm -hmm. if any of the stuff that's, that, that you're talking about, mm -hmm. Dez would have never played another down in the, in, in the NFL. Mm. So, Dez, why you knocking 
play, what the spotlight is like in Dallas, mm -hmm. you better be thankful that you play in Dallas and you got an owner like Jerry Jones that's very, very good and he's done very well by a lot of people mm. that's taking care of your butt. So that's the, don't, don't bite the hand to feed you, bro. Mm. You don't want to play football? Hey, guys, I'm done. I had a great run at it. Hey, it didn't end like I wanted to end. I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. But don't come out here, oh, Zeke, they bringing this up over Zeke, and this why I'm not playing, mm -hmm. or this why I don't want to play. Bruh, if somebody called you, you'd be right there in camp. Mm -hmm. But they haven't called you because, remember, you had no injuries, and it was till November. It was because New Orleans had dropped a couple of receivers. Yeah. That they called you in the first practice you tear your Achilles. Now this a year later, mm -hmm. and a torn Achilles later. How many teams you think gonna be lining up to sign Dez Bryant? Skip, mm. let's be real, man. People need to be real with this. Ten years from now, you think there'll be a moment Dez will be on his couch and sit back and think, man, I wish I knew then what I know now. Absolutely. 100%. Right?